Hey everybody, my name is Michael, I'm with Bannon, and I am here today to show you our new composite light series uh, cabinets that can be installed in just a matter of a few hours. So here you have your rear driver side uh, composite cabinet, uh, come complete with all the hydro systems. You have your shower, your tank, uh, your drain, your fill, your all inclusive, all the plumbing. It's all built in, nothing to figure out. You can see the whole body is designed to fit into the factory uh, body of the van. All the bolt hole locations fit right into factory hole locations. A couple of rib nuts, drop it in, screw it down. You've got a whole hydro system for your van. You can take a look inside. So here you can see our light series composite cabinets uh, integrated with the EcoFlow system. If you guys have heard about it, it's a super plug and play electrical system that allows you to uh, wired up really quickly, super self-explanatory where everything goes. Um, control panels, integrated, works with our hydro system, drop in your fridge. Just like that. So here you can see our light system again. Uh, if you guys are looking for a galley or upper cabinets, those are coming soon. Um, we can take a look. We still offer our aluminum galleys that uh, are totally plug and play with this system as well. Just tee off the pump, hook it up, and you're ready to go. Here you can see our aluminum galley. Um, we've had this one for a while. It's proven um, durable, lightweight, long lasting. Coming up in the future, we have our molds being processed right now for our upper cabinets. It will be composite as well. And down the line, the galley will be composite. We're working on developing a full drop-in DIY plug-and-play system so you guys can get rolling in your vans. Hey, I'm Johnny with Field Van. We have locations in Fresno, California and Reno, Nevada. We've been building vans since 1989. And behind me here is the Econoline. This is a cutaway chassis with our custom body our custom design 4x4 system and uh, you know we've been known for a long time doing these econo lines because of our pop-up tops and so these pop tops not only allow you to stand up in these shorter vans but they give you a really nice sleeping quarters up there really open airy feel we have windows all around that zip out so it gives you that you know camp at, uh, atmosphere when you're out there even though you have all the comforts of home we also build on the sprinter platform and the transits so this econo line has our pop-up top and it has what we call our s one floor plan so it has a real open feel we like open feel we like a lot of good storage so you have your open space here you have your full kitchen with refrigerator microwave stove options or portable stoves like this one has then we have a lot of organized storage in the back with pantry and clothing storage this lower sofa has seat belts for three lays into a bed and of course the upper pop top so this will sleep four adults comfortably and then lots of good bulk storage in the back uh, our door galley here this is this is not a permanent stove there this is designed to house a couple of portable stoves because a lot of people like to cook outside so you have a little kitchen out outside as well and then we have our uh, this is a called our m1 plan on the sprinter van this has a full motor home in basically it fits in a, a, par a basic parking spot so you've got your refrigerator your induction cooker full bathroom shower almost a king size bed in the back with sofa and two ottomans that kind of fold together and make a huge bed tons of organized storage so this one uh, is great for one or two people that really want to you know live on the road and have the nimbleness of the shorter van be able to get uh, more locations off road and fit in a normal parking spot and then this van here also fits a normal parking spot this is our transit this is on a 148 inch wheelbase with a mid roof 
also has our pop top. Cool thing about this van is not only is it the short van, it has the open space, tons of storage, but it has three separate beds. So we have the upper bed there with the pop top. We have another platform bed with storage below and then our sofa here folds down and then makes another full bed. So you can sleep up to six adults completely comfortable in this thing and still have room for ski racks in the back, bikes, ice chests, tons of storage. Uh, so really excited about this plan and maintaining that open feel that we really like. And then we also build on the 170 Sprinter and the longer transits. This is my personal van here, which I go camping with my family and it has a full bathroom shower. We call this our S3 floor plan. And it has a full kitchen behind that on the driver's side. Uh, two beds in the back, just like the last one I showed you. So we have uh, sleeping for four adults back there. And then this track system here on the floor with our smart floor, smart seat system. These seats popping in and out, I have an extra seat here. So this can see two, three, four, five, six, up to seven people in here with seat belts. Um, so yeah, lots of different offerings. We also build fully custom vans and I uh, would love to have you at our factory in Fresno or our location in Reno. Hey, John at Agile Off-Road. We're here at Adventure Van Expo. We're just clearing up from uh, San Juan. Uh, we showed some new product. Uh, last thing you guys probably saw was our double shear bracket, which we've got for the upper mount of the rear 2500. As well, we've got it for the lower 2500. Now keep in mind this does work on the two and the four-wheel drive. We've also got more clearancing for some of the shocks, uh, like the Falcon shocks with the uh, reservoirs and stuff like that. Um, Things, things, new product that we showed that we showed this year was our new wheel. It's called the Overland HD. Um, HD stands for heavy duty. This wheel is rated 4215, 4,215 pounds. We showed it on this new tire here. This is the HD uh, Terrain TAKT tire. It's kind of a commercial tire. It may not be for everybody, but everybody loves the way this tire looks. Here we've got it on the, uh, the KO2 here. We've got a few colors. We showed the bronze with black lip. We showed the gray with black lip and we showed the all black. We've also got kind of a cool wheel. It's a, a blue wheel. Um, our first order won't have any blue wheels, but we'd be happy to bring those in. Response on this wheel has been great. Uh, features of the wheel, we've got two valve stems on this. This is a, a rapid deflator by um, Apex. And then we've also got a rapid inflation system by Apex, kind of give you a sneak peek on it. It's got our logo on there, huge valve stem in there. That thing opens up like a toilet bowl. Allows you to air up the tires and also air down the tires super fast using the same valve stem. So the size of the wheel, it's a 17 by eight. It's got a 34 millimeter offset. That 34 millimeter allows us to run very large tires, this is a 285, 75, 17, should also run up to a 35 for those of you who are gonna have hybrid systems. And it will work on the slide door with the door will fully open up. It does require our one inch or our half inch spacer that goes on the slide door. So we do offer that. Um, that's been a really big thing with a lot of this the offset wheels are out there. As well, in some applications, this will not require wheel spacers on a rip kit. Um, does work too with the Alcon big brakes. So the Alcon big brakes have that 16 millimeter um, offset. The features on our wheel is the, the two valve stems, okay? So what we've got here is we've got one valve stem, which is your traditional stem, though you'll notice it's a little bit different. It's actually a rapid deflator. On the rapid deflator, we've got the, uh, the TPMS. So this will still function like normal. And what you do is you're gonna take the cap off and it's gonna allow this red, red uh, um, lever to come up. And you'll notice that the air is gonna rush out on this side of the Schrader. What's cool about this too is when you clip on the tire, your tire gauge, so we offer this tire gauge and it's a special tire gauge, clips on so you're hands free. You can now pull this up and you'll watch the pressure come out of the tire. So check this out. So we're at 50 PSI and kind of look over my shoulder here and I'm going to pull this lever out. We're going to drop this tire down to about 25 PSI. Um, it 
so I went down a little bit less. So I went down to about 20, 24 pounds or so. Here's the reason why there's two valve stems in this tire. So I'm gonna put the gauge back on. I'm gonna turn on the sprinter. So it's important when you're airing up your tires. So here's the second one. It's so real important when you're airing up your tires, you can run your engine. And we are gonna thread on this. So you'll notice this is an open chuck. Look at how big this is. And if you look in the end of this, this is a one, kind of like a one-way ball in here. What it does is whichever pressure is higher on either side of, the t of this ball, it's gonna fully open. So right now there's 24 pounds of pressure in there. So there's obviously, this pressure is greater than the pressure on the outside. Now we're gonna change that by threading this on. Okay, so we're gonna start up the van. Uh, when you're uh, running your air compressor, you want the van running, okay? So the van's on and we're gonna turn on the air. I've hooked up that air. Now watch how fast this tire is inflating. The tire size on this Sprinter is a 285-75-17, so that's a pretty large tire. It's On paper, I think they call it a 34. Um, on a tape measure, it's uh, 33 and a quarter. So remember, never go by what they say on paper. And we're at 50 now. For the older van, you can shut it off. I'd probably even shut it off there, but we're gonna run it up to 52. Hey, my name is Maxim. I'm from Sprinter Service and Repair with three locations, San Diego, Vista, and Redlands. I can give you some tips how to prolong the life of your Sprinter. First of all, never, never use the cheap filters. The air filter from MAN original is 140 volts. The replica where you buy from the different stores is like 90 volts, so it's like you use the best. Now, every 100,000 miles, you replace the pull extensioner belts. Then turbocharger, when you're driving your Sprinter, you need to cool down every time diesel car, when you stopped, idle for a couple minutes, you will save your turbocharger. This is fuel, uh, the fuel pump inside your tank. So what you do, this is full, this is empty, full empty. It needs to be cooled by diesel. Never go below the 30% of the fuel inside your tank. No, never, never, never. Remember, never go below 30%. If you want the discoin tire and you need to do rotation or any tire, they put jacks, jacks under the differential, they will destroy your uh, differential. Do not allow them to put jacks under the differential, the differential cover, because if oil out, $3,000 repair. So always, always. Then, uh, with the, when you do oil service, do not turn this without releasing clamp. You can destroy this part. This thing, this is uh, uh, the bracket for the uh, transmission. You have to replace from time to time. This bracket get, get cracked very often, so inspect it. If you have the crack, replace it. Or uh, this is the DPF bracket. This is DPF bracket. So it's like, look, and this is also DPF bracket on the four cylinder engine. So bring to us, we have free inspection, free, absolutely free. And most importantly, no biodiesel. Do not put biodiesel. Biodiesel is poison for your baby. Only diesel number two. And some stations, they put diesel number two and small letters biodiesel. Do not trust them. It should be pure diesel number two. If you want to get 10% discount, call me and I will give you 10% discount. And every, every guys get keychain, Sprinter keychain. So you always welcome. If you will go to my website, Sprinter.repair, you get 12 commandments for the Sprinter owner. You get Sprinter, Sprinter frequency. How often should you service? Do not go 20,000 miles. You will destroy your engine. Irregularly 7,000 miles. Depends on the weight. Heavier car, more frequent service is needed. So please follow us and uh, Sprinter.repair is the best source for your Sprinter needs. Welcome to San Diego, Redlands and Vista. Maxim from Sprinter Service Interview. Hi, welcome to Trulino. So we built portable composting toilets made in Germany and they help you poo like at home. These are an upgrade to anybody that has a, a porta potty, a nature head, or any other type of camping toilet at home. It separates urine from the poo, easily collects it in two containers, and makes you able to empty them individually and super quick and super easy. No more hassle on the road, and you can be, really be remote off the grid 
as much as you want and enjoy freedom as it was back in the days with this beautiful guy. Hi, uh, Glenn with Van Equipped, and uh, we're here looking at the, we're the Van Expo down here in uh, San Juan Capistrano. So we're demonstrating some of our different seats and seatbed options. This is our uh, comfort seat, one of our most popular single seats that fits in our uh, seating system. If you're familiar, we formerly were Travois, we're now uh, Van Equipped. Um, but this is a single comfort seat that can swivel. So you can swivel it sideways all the way around. We also have a uh, custom upholstered uh, taxi seat that can fold forward. It's a little lighter designed for that, so it can be picked up and moved out of the van. Okay, so then um, so we have, uh, we're demonstrating our uh, weekender kit uh, here. So Lise, give me a second. Sorry. Uh, so uh, this is our weekender kit. So we're showing the, uh, our new composite floor. So it's uh, the lightest uh, floor available on the market. It has uh, l track integrated. It's a single piece floor that's dropped in. It takes about an hour and a half to install. So the entire thing is glued down, permanently attaches to the van. And uh, But in this system, this is our weekender. So it includes a floor, a seat bed, our kitchenette product, a uh, complete wall kit, and then a bed deck that's not being shown. We have a, probably the lightest bed deck on the market right now at 50 pounds. Uh, that's been tested to over 2,700 pounds of strength before it fails. Um, so this is our seat bed product. And, uh, it's a clip-in on the L-Tech. We have one of the only seats that we know of that actually can move forward and backward really easy in the van. It can be removed. Once we release this, clips into place, locks down. We can move it back and out of the way, like that. Yeah. And then when you when you use it as a seat bed or as a bed, we just pull up the levers. This pops down. And then this back piece can be reclined, so you can watch TV, or you can pop it all the way down and be a full bed. And then when you're ready to travel again, it's just as easy to do the other way. There. All ready to move it forward and get back on the road. Hi, I'm Richard Burke with Pop Rack. We do a rooftop rack that turns into a sleeper system with a queen size bed that you have access through a sunroof style, style portal from the inside of your van. So now you can have either a second bedroom up top or your primary bedroom and either way more room down below for the things that are important to you. What makes our product different is, is that all the things that you normally mount on top of your van, solar panels, vent fans, and yes, air conditioning, you can put on top of the pop rack. The whole top is made out of a composite polypropylene honeycomb. It's super light. In fact, it weighs less than 200 pounds. We're working with all kinds of upfitters nationwide, and the installed price on a new van is $99.95. Thank you very much, and we're so glad to see you. We'll be attending all the Adventure Van Expos for the rest of the year.